back into the business of aviation in Africa. After 44 years in manned aviation, Kenya Airways is now keen on growing its recent UAV subsidiary into a business that it thinks can bring in around $200 million in annual revenues. The airline will also be working with the Brazilian aerospace firm Embraer to test electric urban aerial mobility solutions. Now, the airline has set up a subsidiary, it's called Fahari Aviation, to provide UAV pilot training as well as commercial surveillance and inspection operations. KQ anticipates that the tests of electric urban mobility with Embraer's eVTOL aircraft, which you're seeing on your screens now, should start sometime next year. After years of losses, KQ is pursuing new revenue lines and new markets as part of a turnaround plan. Passenger traffic fell by nearly 66% last year to just 1.8 million passengers. Losses widened to over $335 million. We think that in the next five years, we'll be growing, we'll be doubling growth every single year uh, for the next five years. Very excited about this. And, and, you know, I don't think we are necessarily aggressive in our projections. This is new technology, efficient technology. There is a wide range of applications out there. You mentioned logistics. Uh, that's just one. I mean, I think, in fact, in, at least in this region, I think the need is more on surveillance, um, uh, inspections. That's actually where the need is. Uh, logistics is important, but you know, there's restriction on payload, so those ones will be limited. On top of that, you actually mentioned, now you mentioned logistics, you mentioned cargo, but uh, in the next five years, you know, who knows, you know, you could have actually passenger you know, doing uh, urban mobility. And we already we've signed a contract with, you know, one of the providers, one of the OEMs. We want to be the pilot for Africa for urban mobility.